smartlocal.com. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Please tell me about the worst physical pain you have ever experienced. Woof. Wow, worst physical pain. My worst physical pain is like any other man who undergone circumcision. So at the age of nine, I had to circumcise and I was getting quite big really. I mean, puberty, my you know puberty, everything becomes big, right? So I had to go for circumcision before it became too big. So I went to this doctor. I had to lie down like that. And then they ka 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 ching 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 ching. And I didn't feel any pain. I think it was because they put anesthesia on me, so it wasn't that painful. So you cannot wear pants ma after that. And it was like the wound is still quite fresh. So we put the hanger in front and then we wear like the sarong over our legs. So I was walking home with the hanger like sticking out like this. Eh, not pain eh, not pain eh. Just like, oh wow, this is how it feels like. The thing is I was playing the hanger. Suddenly it like got blood dripping on the floor and it was like dark red blood. And I was like, holy shit. And my mom was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. And then like my dad actually carry me, take the taxi, go back to the same cleaning. And then they say that I shake too much and my wound open. So they had to restitch. Yeah, so because they had to restitch immediately, right? So they didn't have time to put the anesthetic on me, you know. And then the thing is, I could feel the thread like And I remember just holding on and I'm like, Doctor, please help me. Buster, have you been? <laughs> like, eh, eh, eh. I, wow, it was the worst pain ever and I felt like I was going to really pass out. If you have a child who is male and you want to circumcise him, do it when he's a baby. Don't torture him until he's nine years old going through puberty, then you do. Okay? <laughs> The worst physical pain that I've ever felt in my life is probably during my primary school time. Back then, right, soccer is like a very popular sport. I always play soccer. Yeah. I was like wearing this, those kind of like frameless spectacles, right? So the ball, right, just thump onto my face. Bam! They saw me like just lying there. Like, and they were like, oh shit, oh my god. And I just like touch. Oh my god, I was just like bleeding throughout. When the ball hit me, the glasses on my specs, right, just like flip upwards and one of the glass just like stuck onto my um, eyelid here. Then as I was like walking out of the field, right, wow, all the people from like other sports, so, like they're playing basketball uh, or like catching or whatever, they just stop and then like they form like a crowd watching me like getting out of the, the soccer field. But then some of them started clapping. So I was just like, okay, is it even hoeing your tears or whatever, just act cool. Once I'm in the general office, I'm like, oh my god, I cannot, I cannot. I, cannot. I think it's my teacher or my DM. He just plucked out, yeah. The blood just like squirted up, like I was kicked in my nuts like a few times before like, but this is like definitely the worst I've ever felt. Okay, if you don't know me, I, I ride motorcycles last time. Okay, so one day I was riding in, a, in an industrial area, I was riding quite fast. This truck just came out without looking out for traffic. So the whole truck is like right in front of the road, right in the middle of the road. I have no way to see him, you see, because it came out too fast. So I have no choice uh, but I have to bang right and just drop my bike and just let go. So for the next, I think about three seconds, I was for 200 meters. During that whole long drag, I couldn't feel the thing and I don't know what is going on. So total I have six very uh, quite serious wounds. And out of the six, one of the wound, which is on my knee, my right knee, is like a one cm deep wound. Got one tourist bus driver came in, blocked the road for me, cut open my my my, my jeans, my shirt. Then he poured water, wash off all the debris and stuff. Man. Wow, I tell you, the moment the water <laughs> drip, I wake up and I'm like, ah! <laughs> Then I go in, go to A&E, I go in. The most extreme pain comes. The nurse saw my wound. The nurse said, sorry, we have to do deep cleaning for you. Legit, they use the cotton, uh, go and dip, uh, go and dip the alcohol. Uh. Then go and put the whole thing into the one cm wound and do circular motion. And then I'm like, ah! 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 My friend was with me. Then I hold on to his arm like, ah! I really like bite myself. It was a legit 8 to 9 out of 10. I hope that uh, any riders out there just be careful and don't end up like me having this kind of pain. Uh. Yeah. When I was in primary school, there's this one guy, I shall not name him, but his name starts with the letter B. If you remember, this is your fault. Me and him were just like having fun, playing in the bus, jumping around. And then he just decided, to, I don't know why, like, don't ask me, he decided to kick, kick my dick. I don't know why I was numb to the pain somehow. I just didn't feel anything yet. After I reached home right, got off the bus, went to go to and pee. Wow, like stinging burning sensation. Then I said, no, this is a no-go. So we're in a doctor. Doctor say what? Doctor check, he rolled back.
he rolled back the foreskin, right? And then he was like, Oh, Mrs. Xiao, your son has a has a cut on his foreskin. When your son erects or ejaculates in the future, right? It will hurt. Then look at my mother, I was like, Oh, the hell? <laughs> then she looked at me, then she looked at the doctor, then he said, Oh, so circumcision is circumcision how? Then he just told all the details, like, then she just looked at me, he's like, son, how? You you okay not? I don't even think just go on yeah. So I go. Worst decision of my life. I went in right. Then I came out like an, an hour later, and I did, I was groggy. I didn't know the the time and everything. I was just lost. When I finally sat down right at home, uh, on the toilet bowl, right, I, I literally sat like that, like that, uh, like that, and then I pee. Wow, wow, it was damn bad. It was. I sat there for two hours, by the way. It was bleeding and like pus, right. So, the blood and the pus dried and hardened, right, on the fresh thick head. Me. So I went to the doctor and the doctor said, okay, we need to peel this out now. Then what? Then the doctor peel off things from my cucumber. Wow, horrible. I always tell this story to my friends to freak them out. Graphic descriptions ahead. So I had very small and very uneven eyelids. My eyes are like, like that one. Like, like <laughs> I decided on my 21st birthday, I would go to Korea to get my double eyelids done. And it was a great decision. Except during the surgery, they just injected me with something and I remember I fell asleep. But I was like in darkness. A few seconds later, I felt this really like sharp searing pain in like on my this eyelid. But I actually woke up in the middle of the surgery because the anesthetic wore off. Because I was still very weak from the anesthetic, right? I couldn't move. And then the only sounds I could make was like but nobody could hear me because I can hear all the doctors like talking, speaking in Korean. He was slicing through my eyelid with like the scalpel when I was already like out from the anesthetic. After a while, I could slowly open my eyes like a little bit and I could see like the, the droplets of blood like dripping into my eyes. I heard them panic, then they were like screaming in like Korean. They were like, oh, no, no. The next thing I know, I was like back under again. I generally look a lot better than I did before. So, no complaints there, but I still love my... <laughs> the worst physical pain to me is something that is m more so mental than actual physical pain. So one fine day, little Fauzi is crossing the road. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Boom! Push. I got hit by a car. Like I literally, right, felt like I saw my life flashing before my eyes. Bystanders said that they saw me fly. The car's number plate fell off the car. So the impact was pretty strong la. The silly individual that I am immediately got up and shouted out, I'm okay! <laughs> Ambulance rather, I remember calling my parents. And then that was the moment when kind of everything sank. All like the feelings of like getting hit by a car, everything kind of like registered in my mind and that was when I started crying. Being like, oh my god, what have I done in my lifetime to, to deserve this? Uh, could I have done this better? Could I have been more careful? Surprisingly, I am built like a brick. Walked away fine with a sprained ankle. The pain really started beyond that lah. Like, it was so hard to walk around, it was just hard to live day to day. That was probably the worst physical pain I've ever been in. Like I was actually just picked up my house keys with my husband and we were there like set to clean the house lah. And then there after like for dinner, it was the spicy McNugget season. So there I was like happily eating my 9 piece spicy McNuggets and Milo. And everything was fine till um, at night. No furniture in our house and only one IKEA single bed mattress right. Me, my husband and my very very huge Pregnant stomach, right? I was just lying on this tiny ass mattress. So I started tossing and turning. And maybe it was because the mattress was small. But I was like, oh my god, this is like damn bad stomach ache. So I kept rushing to and fro the toilet, but with no with no success. <laughs> and if you're thinking like, oh my god, this girl is like stupid, right? Because she's pregnant. Okay, a pregnancy constipation is a thing. So obviously I was like, no, I'm not like having diarrhea or whatever. And I kept going to the toilet all night long, sweating like drops of water and stuff like that. And then a few hours later, out came my son. <laughs> it turns out that the spicy McNuggets was a great laxative to induce my baby who wasn't even ready to come out. So yeah, that was my worst physical pain. If you don't want to feel it, don't get pregnant.
I suffer from like very bad eczema. Then for two years, right, I don't know why, but it flared up like super badly and it would not go away. Then it just spread to my entire face and body. Then there was this one particular night, right? I went out with my friends uh, earlier in the day and then my, my face was actually like, you know, I'm doing okay. And then when I fell asleep, for some reason, I started scratching I think cause I, I was having anxiety cause I had like class the next day I just woke up right, picture this, I woke up and I was like oh a bit wet And the whole thing was just wet but it wasn't water, it was like sticky and it hurt So I like tried to wipe it away, then it like free hurt and I was like ouch what? I went to the toilet and turned on the lights and nothing in the world could have prepared me for this sight Because I was just like skinless and raw and oozing fluid Y'all y'all need to like not judge me, okay? This is the photo that I took with my friends when we went out together. See, I was zooming for y'all. I have double eyelids, okay? Keep that in mind. I already, I feel freaking nervous to show y'all because I really look like, you know, the alien versus predator. <laughs> Don't scream, ah! Okay, I won't scream. Ah! Oh my! There's no more double eyelid. It's just one lump. I told myself like, okay, I'm a wreck and I have class in a few hours. I have to like clean this and then put my cream on. And then the moment the water touched my freaking raw flesh, I was just like, I just want to die. It was like searing. Then I had to put on the cream. Oh my god, it was like acid eh. It was burning and like every time I touched it, I have to like touch and then like recover. So yeah, that was horrific. But incredibly, I healed quite fast, so I think I have some like Wolverine powers. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of Tell Me About It. Tell us about your worst physical pain in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and watch more of our other videos over there. Bye, and stay safe, y'all. Don't get hurt, okay? Bye. <laughs>